Today's contestants are... Player yeah. one! <laughs> and now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Where do we begin, player one? International pop star Enrique. Okay, player one. Woo. That's it. Player one, pick again. Don't detach this, which is next to the choroid, and changes light rays into neural signals. It's player one. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Player three? Aww. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Player two. Good. <laughs> Player two, where do we start? In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says that if someone smiteth you here, offer also the other. Yes, player two. Right. <laughs> player two, pick again. Where the Latter-day Saints believe that Zion or New Jerusalem will be built. Yes, player one. Good for you. <laughs> player one, where do we start? After striking down his brother in Genesis, this man said, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Let's hear it, player one. You are correct. We return to you, player one. In Numbers chapter 20, after the Israelites complained, Moses smote one of these twice, and water came out. Let's hear it, player one. Oh, that's not right. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Player three? Yes, you're out of the hole. All right, let's get back into this. Player three has control. In a book named for Moses' successor, this man smites the Gibeonites, the Hebronites, and the Eglonites. Player one? Oh. Nope. Sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here is what we wanted. Joshua. You again, player three. Hope you studied this eye part that, at its maximum contraction in an adult, may be less than one millimeter in diameter. Okay, player one. That's right, way to go. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player one. Make a selection. In Judges, Samson whopped on 1,000 Philistines with this part of an ass. It's player one. Ooh. No. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. The jawbone. Player one, you pick again, please. With the first country alphabetically. It's player one. Yes. 
You get to pick again, player one. With the most countries. Okay, player one. That's correct. You've got some money again. Please pick again, player one. Many computer games use this lever. Let's hear it, player one. Yes! You get to pick again, player one. 24 star Kiefer. Okay, player one. Woo. You got it. You get to pick again. Actress Jamie Lee. Yes, player one. Right. Yeah. Player one, pick again. All right, here with the clue is Jimmy. To allow your eyes to see clearly at varying distances, fibers called the zonules of Zinn change the shape of this eye part that focuses light onto the retina. Let's hear it, player one. Oh! No. Anyone else? The correct response is lens. You again, player one. That extends down to about 54 degrees south latitude. Let's hear it, player one. That's not it. Oh! Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it, player three. That's not it. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Player two. Good. <laughs> Where do we begin, player two? that can be typed using a single row of letters on a standard keyboard. It's player one. That's it. Player one, you're in command of the board as we continue right now. And so, it's the Daily Double. You're in second now, but with an opportunity to catch up a bit. What are you going to wager? Answer this. Pierre Jesus, sung by this young Welsh lass with the voice of an angel, has sold millions worldwide. Oh. Here's the correct response. Charlotte Church. Player one, you pick again, please. It's the title of Tony Kushner's Pulitzer-winning play. Yes, player one? No, oh. that's not right. Any other takers? Let's hear it, player three. Sorry, that's wrong. Any other takers? Okay, player two. That's <laughs> correct. Okay, let's get back into this. Player two, you make the next selection as we to cross the street illegally. Okay, player one. Yeah. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player one. Make the sclera and this consist of tough tissues that make up the outer layer of the eyeball and give it strength. Yes, player one? <sighs> Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response?
Here is what we wanted. The cornea. Player one, you pick again, please. A green mineral or a fickle woman. Let's hear it, player one. Right. <laughs> you again, player one. Emmy and Tony Award winning actress, Amanda. Player one. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player three. Good. Yeah. Player three, make a selection, please, as we continue. Boxer turned dancer, Lila. Okay, player one. Right. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player one. Breed of cows named for one of the Channel Islands. Let's hear it, player one. You are correct. Select again. Capelli d'Angelo is an Italian food term for a type of this. Yes, player one. Good. <laughs> player one, pick again. It follows hark in the first line of a 17th century hymn. Player one. Oh. No, sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player three. That's correct. You're out of the hole. Player three, make a selection, please, as we continue. That every soul has one of these is not an article of faith, but St. Jerome says, it is the mind of the church. Let's hear it, player one. Right you are. Okay, let's get back into this, player one. It's combat between two knights on horseback using lances. Okay, player one. Hey, yeah! you're right. Good. Back on the plus side. And we'll wrap up the board with this clue. Drivers know the point where the optic nerve enters the eye, has no rods or cones, and goes by this two-word term. Okay, player one. Whoa! That's correct. <laughs> player three is in third place, and we'll select first in the double jeopardy round, as we always do, right after this break. Categories for the double jeopardy round. Okay, let's get back into this. Player three, you make the next selection as well. In 1508, Dutch author Desiderius Erasmus first used her name with box instead of the traditional vase or jar. Let's hear it, player one. Woo! Very good. Okay, let's get back into this. Player one, this man boasts. He that knows better how to tame a shrew, now let him speak. Player one. Yeah, hey, you're right. She's in Troy when she tells Pandarus, Go hang yourself, you naughty mocking uncle. Let's hear it, player one. No, sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here is what we wanted. Cressida. Player one, the appropriately named Servilius is a servant to this title guy of Athens. Okay, player one. Sorry. Anyone else?
Here's what we were looking for. Timon. Player one, back to you. Friar John gets quarantined, so he never delivers that really important letter that this friar wrote to Romeo. Player one? No. Anyone else? Player two. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's get back into this. Player two, you make the next selection as we... There's something in his soul or which his melancholy sits on brood is said of this title character. Player one. Oh, oh, that's right. oh. Anyone else? We're talking about Hamlet. You again, player two. It's a network of nerves, like the solar one. Yes, player one? No. Anyone else? Player three? Yes. <laughs> Where do we begin, player three? Nephrology is a medical specialty concerned with these organs. Player one? Good for you! All right, let's get back into this. Player one has control in Central America. Doyle's Delight, not Victoria Peak, as was thought. Yes, player one? Yes. On the plus side again. You again, player one. Phnom Aural. Let's hear it, player one. Sorry, that's me. Oh. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? It's player three. That's it. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player three. Make us Mount Kosciusko in New South Wales. Player one? Yeah. Player one, make a selection. In East Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro. Okay, player one? No. Oh. Anyone else? We're talking about Tanzania. Player one. Pick a Pico de Teide in the Canary Islands. Let's hear it, player one. Yes! yes. Player one, back to you. It's July 10th, 1553, and this lady will pinch hit for Edward VI, who's been taken out of the game. Cousin Mary is on deck. Okay, player one. Oh. Nope. Any other takers? Here's the response we were looking for. Jane Gray. You again, player one. It's 1902, and Teddy Roosevelt is putting this junior on the bench, the Supreme Court bench, and he'll be there for 29 years. Yes, player one?
<laughs> That's right. Way to go. Great. You're back into it now. Please pick again, player one. It's going back, back, and it's over the 73-mile-long wall built in the 120s A.D. by this slugger, the Emperor. It's player one. You got it. <laughs> Player one, pick again. To see this NFL team's home games at FedEx Field, take a shuttle bus from the Landover Metro stop. Yes, Player one? That's yeah. right. Way to go. You get to pick again, Player one. Let's go over to Jimmy. In this type of trick play, the quarterback hands off to a running back, who hands off to a tight end, going in the opposite direction. Player one? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Player one, you pick again. Yeah. Answer, the first of the two daily doubles. And you're in the lead now. Decide on your wager, player one. Answer this. This Cowboys wide receiver of the 1990s is in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. That puts you even further ahead. Player one, choose again. He caught the catch on January 10th, 1982. Okay, player one. Anyone else? We're talking about Dwight Clark. We return to you. This cup representing Canadian football supremacy was donated by the descendant of a tea namesake. It's player one. Yeah. You got it. We return to you, player one. From the Greek for bad mold, it's an abnormal growth of tissue or bone. Dogs get it in their hips. Player one? No. Anyone else? Here's the correct response. Dysplasia. Player one, you pick again, please. A long, slender cigar. Okay, player one. Yes. Player one, choose again. It's also called the auditory tube, and when it's blocked, an earache can result. Let's hear it, player one. That's correct. We return to you, player one. Answer. The other daily double. And you have the lead, player one. Please select your wager. Answer this. These five bones make up the palm of the hand. You have maintained your lead. Way to go. Please pick again, player one. These wide trousers extending from the waist to the ankles were popular in late 17th century England. Okay, player one. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this?
Yes, player two. Woohoo! <laughs> player two, you start us off. Cure all. It's player one. Aww. Sorry. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. Panacea. We return to you, player two. It's a sentence using all letters of the alphabet, such as Watch Jeopardy! Alex Trebek's fun TV quiz game. Let's hear it, player one. Aww. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's what we were looking for. Pangram. Player two. Pick again. It's 1922, and the black shirts force King Victor Emmanuel III to appoint this far-right fielder as prime minister. Let's hear it, player one. Woo and we'll wrap up the board with this clue. It's 1649, and this king is looking kind of tired out. Yep, here comes Oliver Cromwell to give him the hook. Okay, player one. Woo! Yes. Congratulations to all of you. You'll be continuing on to Final Jeopardy when we come back. Final Jeopardy still to come, and here's the category. Children's Lit. So, what's your wager? This is a good category. Here's the clue for you. This Roald Dahl book begins... These two very old people are the father and mother of Mr. Bucket. What did you put as your response? And that correct response will add... What did you say? With that correct response, you will gain... Did you come up with a correct response? How much do you add to your total with that correct response? Yeah! Player one, congratulations to you. So long. Today's contestants are Player One, yeah, Player woo. Two, <laughs> and now here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Hey, Johnny, thank you. Hello, ladies. The first round of play today has these categories for you. Where do we begin, Player One? In Luke. 
he is quoted as saying, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh. Player one? That's correct. Select again. When Jesus saw this tax collector and first gospel writer, he told him to follow me. Okay, player one. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's what we were looking for. Matthew. Player one, back to you. In Judges, he said, With the jaw of an ass have I slain a thousand men. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! That's correct. Good. Back on the plus side. Player one, choose again. Goliath mocked him, saying, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? Yes, player one. That is correct. Please pick again, player one. At the burning bush, God told him he was the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Let's hear it, player one. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here is what we wanted. Moses. Player one, back to you. In 2001, she was pardoned for a 1974 armed bank robbery and for using a firearm during a felony. Player one. Yep. <laughs> Player one, pick again. Gerald Ford issued 382 pardons, but the one issued to this man in 1974 is said to have cost Ford the 1976 election. Let's hear it, Player one. Yep. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. It's the Daily Double. And you're in the lead now. What'll it be? Answer. Muskrats and wood rats belong to this order of mammals. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Player one, choose again. It's the most widely spoken romance language in the world. Okay, player one. You got it. You again, player one. This Motown legend co-wrote My Girl and Tears of a Clown. It's player one. Hey, you're right. <laughs> Player one, pick again. You'll get a charge over this critter, an Amazon river dweller that can pack a 650-volt wallop. It's Player one. Yeah! That's correct. <laughs> Player one, back to you for our next selection. In basketball, this ball handling infraction will cost you possession. Yes, player one? That's correct. <laughs> player one? Two. These animals of the order Chiroptera are the only mammals that can truly fly. Player one? Oh. Sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this?
Here's the correct response. Bats. Player one, you pick again. In 1947, he shattered baseball's color line. Yes, player one? <laughs> That's right. Way to go. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Player one? Around the Vatican, you might be able to practice this source language of all Romance languages. Okay, player one? That is correct. <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. This extinct Romance language of Croatia shares its name with a dog breed. It's player one. No. Nope. Sorry. Anyone else? Here's the response we were looking for. Dalmatian. You again, player one. This Secretary of Defense was pardoned for his role in Iran-Contra. Let's hear it, Player One. That's it. Please pick again, Player One. Fruit and lizards, yum, are favorite foods of the Kowati, also known by this longer name. Player One. That's it. <laughs> you get to pick again, player one. R, R, as a description in mail delivery. Okay, player one. <sighs> Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player two. Yeah. Correct. Okay, let's get back into this. Player two, you make the next selection as we... Like a famous mister of song, it was the nickname of tap dancer Bill Robinson. Player one? <laughs> hey, you're right. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Player one, start us. Emmanuel Goldenberg was the real name of the Robinson who used this first name on the stage. Yes, player one? You got it. <laughs> player one, back to you. In 1951, he defeated Jake LaMotta to become middleweight boxing champ. Yes, player one? That's it. <laughs> Player one, back to you. Here's Kelly. She'll show you. If you see one of these under the sea, look, but don't touch. The spines can be poisonous. Okay. Player one. That's <laughs> correct. <laughs> you again. Player one. This feisty Thai fish blows sticky bubbles to make a nest then puts the eggs in its mouth and blows them in the nest. Yes, player one? Yeah! Hey, you're right. <laughs> player one, back to you for our next selection. Of Catalan, Bulgarian, or Romanian, the one that is not a Romance language. Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. <laughs> Player one, you pick again, please. Let's get Jimmy's assistance on this clue. Water vapor and ozone are two of these gases, collectively known as GHGs, which keep heat from escaping the atmosphere. It's player one. Good. <laughs> You get to pick again. A condition of low priority. In a cooking phrase, it usually follows on the... Player one? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah! Woo! You get to pick again. In 1994, he was pardoned for leading a coup versus the president of Venezuela, 
by 1999, he was the president. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> player one, you. The Wall Street Journal wanted an immediate pardon for him after his perjury conviction in the Valerie Plame case. Player one. No, sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's what we wanted. Scooter Libby. And we'll wrap up the board with this clue. Ligurian, Lombard, and Piedmontese are all dialects of this Romance language. Yes, player one? Good. <laughs> okay, we have player three in third place, which means that player three will go first in the double jeopardy round. And we have two daily doubles awaiting player three. You start. This ground meat sandwich gets its name from a German port city. Let's hear it, player one. Yes. <laughs> a lot of clues, a lot of categories, player one. Make Simon's 1973 song about this color transparency film said, Give us those nice, bright colors. It's player one. Wow. Sorry, that's wrong. <laughs> Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's what we were looking for. Kodachrome. Yeah. Answer. The first of the Daily Doubles. And you're in the lead now. So, what's your wager? Answer this. About half of Suriname's 439,000 people live in this capital city. That puts you even further ahead. Player one, choose again. Suriname is wedged between Guyana and this dependency. It's player one. Yeah! Oh, you're right. <laughs> Player one, back to you. The gray type of this bird was introduced to North America in 1889. Come on, get happy. Okay, player one. No. no. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's the correct response. Partridge. You again. And player one. There are about 60 species of this wading bird. Asia has a purple one, and America, a great blue one. Okay, player one. Sorry. Ooh. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Player three? Sorry, uh -huh. that's wrong. Any other takers? Yes, player two. That is correct. Okay, let's get back into this. Player two, you make the next selection as we... Also known as a red bird and protected by law, this bird may have up to four broods from April to August each year. Player one? No. Anyone else? Let's hear it, player two. That's it. 
Player two, you pick again, please. The ruby-throated one of these can migrate 500 miles while burning off only slightly more than one gram of fat. Okay, player one. No. Ah. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's the correct response. Hummingbird. You again, player two. Pochards, perching, stiff-tailed, and dabbling are types of these birds. It's player one. That <laughs> is correct. Player one, you start. This Jack London wolf character survives years of dogfighting and finally finds a compassionate human owner. Let's hear it, player one. Correct. <laughs> player one, back to you for our next selection. In a 1667 deal, the English got New York City, and these people got the territory that would become Suriname. Yes, player one? You are correct. <laughs> player one, back to you for our next selection. And sir, the second daily double. And you're in the lead now. Please enter your wager. A clue. This highest natural singing voice for women is Italian for... What is above? Even so, you are still in the lead. Here's the correct response. Soprano. Player one. You this term for a leading character of a literary work comes from the Greek for first combatant. Okay, player one. Right you are. <laughs> you again, player one. In Bridge Over Troubled Water, Simon told her to sail on, sail on by. Your time has come to shine. Player one. Ooh. No, that's not right. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's the response we were looking for. Silver girl. Player one, choose again. In her novel, The Plains of Passage, a wolf named Wolf is the hunting partner of a cave woman. Let's hear it, player one. No, sorry. Any other takers? Okay, player three. No, that's not right. Any other takers? Yes, player two. Right. <laughs> player two, you're in command of the board as we continue, right? In a 12th century beast epic, Isengrim is a wolf who battles against the sneaky Reynard, one of these animals. Let's hear it, player one. Oh. Nope. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the response we were looking for. A fox. Player two, you pick again, please. In a medieval legend, the town of Gubbio is terrorized by a wolf until this saint greets it and tames it. Player one? Yep. <laughs> Player one, make a selection, please, as we continue. 
In Mrs. Robinson, Simon wrote, A nation turns its lonely eyes to this man. Let's hear it, player one. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's the response we were looking for. Joe DiMaggio. Please pick again. Goodbye to Rosie, the Queen of Corona. See you, me, and him down by the schoolyard. It's player one. Yeah! <laughs> you again, player one. It begins, Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. It's player one. <laughs> Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player three. Correct. <laughs> okay, let's get back into this. Player three, you make the next selection as we... One of these dancers, so I'm practicing my arabesques and pirouettes so I can perform with the Kirov. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> That's right, way to go. <laughs> player one. You start a powerful presence in the country is Soralco, part of this giant metals company. Let's hear it, player one. Oh. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Player two. That's correct. <laughs> Player two, you start us off. Since many of Suriname's workers come from India, this religion is practiced by almost 30%. Okay, player one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Player one, you start. This word for a kind of land mass comes from a word meaning to contain. Let's hear it, player one. Nope. Sorry. Any other takers? It's player three. Yes. <laughs> player three, you're in command of the board as we continue, right? This wood-eating insect gets its name from the Latin for wood-eating worm. Yes, player one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get back into this. Player one. Raksha is the mother wolf who raises this human boy in Kipling's The Jungle Book. Player one. Good. <laughs> you again, player one. This, from the Greek for straight, and make some big bucks correcting crooked teeth with braces. Yes, player one. <laughs> hey, you're right. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Select again. Like Martin Luther King and the Dalai Lama, and be honored with this humanitarian prize given in Oslo. Okay, player one. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. One of these, from the Greek for star sailor like John Glenn or Buzz Aldrin. Okay, player one. That's correct. <laughs> and we'll wrap up the board with this clue. One of these, and deal with the health problems of Vicunas, Pintos, and Great Danes. It's player one. Correct. 
Sorry, Player 3. Looks like you will not be continuing on to Final Jeopardy. Here's the Final Jeopardy category. The 1970s. You need to select your wager. And now the final clue. For an historic February 1972 trip, Richard Nixon and Henry Kissinger each learned to use these. Nixon was better at it. What did you put as your response? How much do you add to your total with that correct response? And your response? How much do you add to your total with that correct response? Congratulations, <laughs> Player yeah. One. Woo. You are our new champion. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next time. Sorry for not talking much in my recent videos, and I hope you all enjoyed this one.